Morning, B. Good morning, Bianca. Morning, Jeff. Morning, Ellie. Where you are you? Can't stay away from me, can you? I expected to see you in the studio this morning. Couldn't you be? You couldn't well, be bothered. I think bothered. the talk sport, I think the talk sport producer realised we had to be separated this morning. Some ah. of the things you've been saying about West Ham. No, me. I'm very open-minded about West Ham. Now, <laughs> you, we know you are a big David Moyes fan, but do you feel that that five-two has sealed his fate? I think it feels like the beginning of the end now, unfortunately, for David Moyes. I would never call for him to lose his job. I absolutely recognise he's a club legend, one of the best managers we've had, especially in the last 40-odd years, obviously. But, you know, you can say thank you very much, David, for everything you've done, but sometimes there is a natural conclusion to someone's tenure um, he deserves a, a hero's departure. I think if it continues the way it is, he's not going to get that. If they came out and said, you know, this is going to be David Moyes' last few games, the Hammers fans, even the ones who have been Moyes out from, from the start, I think they would then turn around and say, thanks, David, for everything you've done. It's been absolutely brilliant. But there has to be an evolution. And I don't think it's wrong to say that. I mean, you keep going on about, be careful what you wish for, but you are allowed to wish for evolution, for stepping stones. You, you know, when you look at the, the Premier League form, we've won three league games this year. We've conceded 33 goals. You know, it, it's all very well sitting deep and being defensive, but you've got to know how to defend. And unfortunately, it looks like it's on, on, on a decline and it, it doesn't I, I just don't see him being able to turn it back around. Bianca, where will, uh, if, if that's the case, um, and you'd have to say, it's maybe looking like it very much, I agree with just about everything you've said, I have to say, where does the evolution take you, take you in terms of a new coach, new manager? Well, it does depend who comes in. I mean, they, they've been talking about, I think, Ruben Amarim. Um, I mean, I would... I would take Gary O'Neill. Jeff thinks he wouldn't come to West Ham. I, I, I think he, he would. Well, the, the, um, the, reason, the reason I said that, Bianca, and, and I would not reveal our private conversations apart <laughs> from this one, because you were, were telling me Gary O'Neill would definitely go to West Ham because they're a much bigger club than Wolves. That, those I were your words. I didn't say they were a much bigger club. Did you I say did they were a bigger say, club? I did, I did say that we are a more attractive pr prospect, especially because we have... You know, we've been in Europe. Yeah. Well, you know, of course, you, 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 and that is down to to David Moyes. Yeah. Um, so, but so I do you, feel, as I said, it is it is on the downturn, mm. and some of that isn't down to him. You know, we've had injury suspensions. We don't win games without Pakatar and Bowen. We let Ben Rama and four nails go in January. Whose decision is that? We don't know. The, the squad is super thin. He doesn't trust his substitute. Phillips hasn't worked. That's not all down to David no. Moyes. It's very much a team effort, and that goes right to the very top. Yeah, the, the, squad, the squad the is super thin, rather like Moyes. me, is what you meant to say. Um, say the, that again? The, the squad is super thin, rather like me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but look, we, we, you, you know, we, you might not get Gary O'Neill from Wolves. What about an ex-Wolves manager? Yulan Lopetegui has been linked quite a lot. He did, I thought he did a good job at Wolves. Yeah, he did. But again, sometimes managers do good jobs and, and they're let go. I mean, David Moyes wouldn't be the first manager in the world to win a trophy and then leave the following season. Sometimes managers are a great fit and sometimes they're not. I mean, it remains to be seen. Who knows who would fit at West Ham? It is a, it's such a difficult job for so many reasons. Um, but yeah, I'd be happy to see Lopetegui come in. It just depends how attractive the job is to certain managers. How much money is he going to be given to spend? How much autonomy um at man at, at west ham you just don't know who's making all of the decisions some managers want to control everything some managers are happy uh, to, to take a back seat and just look after what's on the pitch that's something that's you know quite mysterious at west ham who makes the decisions so i don't know but yeah lopetegui he's, he's a big name and i think he'd be a good fit do you know what would be a great shame bianca I, 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 and i can i'm afraid i can see it happening the way that West Ham are just now, you know, what, I hate using the term nothing to play for because you've always got something to play for. But I just think it would be a great shame for everybody, Davey Moyes, the players and the fans, if the remaining games just kind of fizzle out to the end of the season. I think that would be a great shame. 
Yeah, well, that's why it would be a good idea if they are looking to let David Moyes go. For everybody's sake, they should say it now because then it could be a real celebration of what he's managed to achieve. And let's face it, he's been the best manager we've had. I mean, definitely in the Premier League era, but even, you know, way before I was born, 40 years ago. <laughs> so, <laughs> he, deserved, he deserved very much for everybody to stand up at the end of the season and say, David, you have been absolutely brilliant. We thank you for everything. There aren't many managers who've won a trophy for West Ham. And if they did, it was a very long time ago. If that doesn't happen, those boo boys, those Moyes out um, guys, who I really don't agree with, guys and girls, by the way, they're going to be louder than everyone else. And that's not fair on, on David because he's such a great manager. He might not fit the style that some West Ham fans want, um, but he deserves a huge send off. And if he goes into next season and then it doesn't start well, he's not going to get that. And then his legacy is going to be tarnished. Mm. And that would be really, really sad. B, thanks for joining us again. And um, a belated happy 50th birthday once again. <laughs> And good luck for your 70th next year, Jim. <laughs> Thanks, Bianca. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, I can't get away did from you that. Expect, I cannot did get you away from that. Did you seriously think for a minute you were going to get the last word there? No, I've never no, I mean, ever had the last word with her. Let me tell you, never happened. Not.